Hi, my name is Hannah Vasco, and I am from the San Francisco Bay Area in California. First of all, I want to congratulate you on being nominated to participate in Broadcom. I know how much hard work and effort you've put into your projects and you've already made it to the top of your state and regional fairs, so congratulations on a job well done. Just to be nominated is such a huge honor um, that I really encourage you to apply to Broadcom Masters. I've been nominated to Broadcom three times in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. I was a semi-finalist in 7th grade and a finalist this past year in 8th grade. So I knew a few things about the application. Um, the first thing I would recommend is getting started super early on your application. I'd also recommend copying and pasting all the questions from the online application into a separate Word document and answering those questions there. That way you have a backup copy and you can change or refine your answers there and then paste them back over into the application. It might also be helpful for some people to read the question online and then speak their answer out loud. I know that I was used to speaking with judges in person, so the online application process was a little weird and difficult at first, so it might be helpful to speak your answers out loud and then type them out, so it might just help you to get the thought process going. Um, it also might seem strange that a big chunk of the application asks you questions about yourself and your hobbies and people you admire, and I wouldn't just discard this part of the application. Put as much effort into this part of the application as you do when you explain your project, because since the judges won't get to meet you in person, this is a really good way for them to get a sense of who you are as a student, who you are as a scientist, and who you are as a person, what you like to do in your free time, uh, where you see yourself, yourself in the future, if you have any ideas for a career. So be creative, don't be afraid to express your own ideas or thoughts, and really just give it all your effort. Um, there are also word limits for these questions, so try to be as concise as possible, that way you can uh, go into greater depth when explaining your project, um, and go back and try to cut down on the words, because it'll really help, and that way the judges can get a better sense of your project and how you conducted your experiment, because all that they're going to see from your application is what they're able to read online. So when you're choosing PDFs to upload and data, try to choose the things that you think will best represent your project and be as concise as possible. It was an incredible, incredible week where I got to spend some time with 29 other kids who are just as passionate and interested in science as I am. And we had some really fun field trips. We went to Tesla, we went to Google, we went to NASA Ames Research Center, we went to Lucasfilms. And there were some tough challenges throughout the week but we really bonded as a team and just as 30, group, 30 kids who are so interested in science. And I ended up winning second place in the nation in the science category at Broadcom Masters. Um, so I was awarded $2,500. With the prize money, I'm planning to attend a series of STEM lectures this summer at Stanford University. So that's something I'm really excited about and looking forward to. Really apply to Bronco Masters because I know it might seem like you could, you, you know, you don't think you can make it to be a finalist, and I didn't think that either. But anything can happen. You've worked so hard on your project, you have just as good a chance as anyone else. So, really put as much effort as possible into this application and get started on your application as soon as possible. Good luck!